Oh, some people have such a special bond with their grandparents. I know I do. I yeah. love them more oh, than anything. Oh, you're so lucky to have yeah. that. For others, <laughs> it can be difficult to foster that relationship depending on age or distance, all those factors. So in today's Relationship Reboot, we have some advice on how to be a grandparent master and not a grandparent disaster. Ooh. My kids are very lucky, Dr. <laughs> Carol Breeze, to have wonderful grandparents on both sides. So smart to say that on TV. It's on the record. It's on the record. <laughs> you are so good. <laughs> Look, more people yep. are becoming grandparents. Mm -hmm. We're living longer. Mm -hmm. We're having longer lives. And grandma and grandpa today are a lot more active and more involved For than sure. maybe in years past. And 70% of grandparents say that being a grandparent is one of the most satisfying and important things in their lives. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? And grandparents, here's a fun fact, are spending $52 billion a year just on their grandkids. Uh -huh. You know, so there's a That's lot of sure. involvement yes. and engagement yeah. <laughs> and, you know, they're living longer. So most grandparents are going to be having a relationship with their grandkids for multiple decades, which is really different than, you know, in, in years past. We know that it's important to have a good relationship mm -hmm. with your parents. There are so many things that you can learn from them. What are some of the benefits from having a great relationship with your grandparents? Yeah, well, this is what's really cool. There's so much new research on this, mm -hmm. and most of the studies that are coming out are, are showing us that it benefits the grandparents parents and the grandkids when there's these great relationships. For instance, this great longitudinal study out of Boston College showed that there was less depression when those for grandparents and grandkids when they maintained a positive relationship. Wow. Powerful, yeah. It's really powerful. A great study out of Oxford University, I always want to say Oxford, when I, <laughs> um, showed that when grandparents were really engaged in their grandkids' lives, that those kids had overall happier lives. Mm -hmm. So there's all sorts of evidence that this is important. This not just still, for the can be, still can be challenging, though, right? Yeah. Because well, you yes, got mom right. and dad in yep. the middle sometimes mm -hmm. of all this going on. So you put together one thing not to do and three things to do. Right. So let's talk about what not to do first. Okay. okay. Don't be the parent. Mm -hmm. This is so tempting. You know, when we look at the research on this, a lot of the grandparents think that they could do it better than the parents. But here's the deal. Parents, you need to zip your lips. Yeah. So respect is one of the cornerstones of being a great grandparent. Let the parents do the hard stuff. And you have to respect those parents' rules, but really let the parents be the parents. Okay, what about some do's? Some yeah, things let's that talk we about do. <laughs> let's talk about the, the positive stuff. One of the things that you want to do as a grandparent is create spaces where your grandkids want to come and visit. So like if your grandkids are into glitter and paint or baking or whatever, you know, make sure that you're creating those opportunities because you want your grandkids over time to want to engage with you. So grandparents do need to adapt if they want to maintain that long-term relationship. So you create spaces they mm -hmm. want to visit. What about a situation where you have grandparents, but maybe there are two or three or four different grandkids? It's so important that grandparents parents create one-on-one -on -one time mm -hmm. with their grandkids if they're going to create a, a long-term relationship with them. So, you know, for the little ones, even if it's toddlers or, you know, grade school age kids, having one-on-one -on -one sleepovers or outings or even lunches, even for the young adults and their grandparents, mm -hmm. oh, yes. you know, they might take a vacation together or they might create, you know, a dinner, but that one-on-one -on -one relationship, because where there's one grandchild, there's often multiple. Yeah. And then one more, do learn their tools Oh, quickly. this is so important to learn your kids, your grandkids' tools. So, for instance, if your grandkids are into Snapchat or Instagram, you should uh -huh. be too. You <laughs> yeah. know, and so the old adage, fish where the fish are, grandparents need to adapt if, if they want to have that close relationship. I like that. Get grandma on Snapchat. Get Perfect. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm.